relevance. So in the remaining time, um, if you have something of encouragement to share with uh, my viewers, or many of them are college students in the sciences, they're Christians. And so if you have uh, something that can fit in in a less than seven minutes for a Christian testimony to encourage them, uh, yeah. they, we would all be very grateful. Well, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, just this, yeah. Yeah, I'll just do this really very quickly is I was an agnostic when I was an undergraduate student. I didn't grow up in a Christian home. I went into graduate school with no interest in religious ideas whatsoever. And it was studying biochemistry and just the, the incredible elegance and, and ingenuity of biochemical systems, coupled with what I saw to be intractable problems with chemical evolution as a graduate student that convinced me there had to be a creator and that was 35 years ago and in the contravening three and a half decades i think the case for design has become much more much stronger the challenges to to uh, prebiotic chemistry and, and the origin of life through chemical evolution have become even more significant uh and you know, there's, a, a, I think, a growing number of original life researchers, interestingly enough, who are beginning to acknowledge uh, what is being referred to as the hand of God dilemma. Uh, this really? is a, a term brought, uh, brought to bear by uh, Clemens Reichert, who's a, a German original life researcher, who basically is pointing out that the work we're doing in prebiotic chemistry is largely successful because of human intervention you know oh, and the hand of god the hand of god dilemma yes that's that's the the term that he gives it and of course he's very you know quick to to distance himself from intelligent design but uh, at the same time in, if you look empirically at what this work is indicating it really prebiotic chemistry is, is demonstrating the, the necessary role of intelligent agency the irony is that in attempts to try to explain explain how life could emerge through chemical evolution what we've in effect done is shown intelligent agency is absolutely central to converting chemicals into systems that would be the stepping stones to uh, to the very first cell if you're viewing it in in you know evolutionary terms you can't escape the role of intelligent agency well you just made my day you are you know a lot of especially people like you and me who are researchers you know we're kind of we're not kind of like the preachers and evangelists that are very open about you know their personal experiences and their conversion um but you're like only the second researcher i've talked to that said um your study of science was very instrumental to uh bringing you to faith i, I knew someone who lost his faith in high school but when he studied biology when he studied the cell membrane, he, he, he dedicated his life to Christ. And I, I'm just assuming since now you're a Christian, something like that, that it was the chemical stuff, your study of chemistry, yeah. the origin of life, and then it pointed to a creator and it led to, to your conversion. Is that, is that fair? Yes, that's exactly, yeah, that's it. And interestingly enough, my uh, PhD work and postdoctoral work were in cell membranes. <laughs> so, <laughs> So there's something about cell membrane systems that, uh, well, you know, you know, it's interesting. I know we're, we're running out of time, but, you know, many people, because phospholipids will spontaneously assemble into bilayer structures, immediately conclude that that generating cell membranes is an automatic thing. But most of these bilayers that you form in the lab with phospholipids are actually multilamellar stacks. They look like onions, you know, with layer upon layer. And to get a single bilayer phase is actually a critical phase that depends on the precise lipid composition mm. and, and it's only under so it's a it's like a critical phase so the composition of cell membranes has to be exquisitely fine-tuned and every one of the components in the cell membrane is actually playing a critical functional role the head group distributions the the fatty acid chain distributions are all have to be precisely controlled for cell membranes not only to form but then to function uh, in in a variety of ways and so cell membranes are these these remarkably fine-tuned systems that, that display this organization that is initially hidden just because of the complexity of the system but the more we're learning about it the more we're seeing 
this exquisite organization that's hierarchical in nature, uh, this exquisite fine tuning, you know, uh, uh, and and, um, and so it, to me, cell membranes are systems that just scream design. And in fact, some people even think there might be information in, in the compositional makeup of cell membranes, believe it or not, where, you know, it's compositional information as opposed to the information you would see in linear, you know, chain-like molecules like proteins and DNA. I, I'm of that viewpoint. And unfortunately, we have about 90 seconds left. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the last time we talk, um, because I understand you're, 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 you are already or will be the president of the RTB organization, and Hugh Ross will be a founder. Are, are you already the president? Uh, two weeks. In two <laughs> weeks. Okay, great. So uh, congratulations on that, and Thank congratulations you. to Dr. Ross now for such a, a long, illustrious career and his service to the Christian community. So um, this is uh, this this interview made my day, and thank you. <laughs> um, it motivates me now to continue to teach science. So, um, boy, I could talk to you all day, and perhaps we'll meet again. And yeah, it, 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 this was just a a great discussion. So um, I, I I told Doc uh, Dr. Rana that uh, I like short interviews because there's less. There's less things that can go wrong. So with that, guys, I'm sorry I have to say goodbye. Dr. Ross, I mean, Dr. Rana, God bless you, sir. Thank you. God bless you too, Sal. Take care.